Types of inventory. Inventory comes in different forms. Therefore, different types of inventory, such as raw material, work in progress, and finished goods can be found in the supply chain. Let's take a look at Woodfern Inc. to explain these types of inventory. Woodfern Inc. makes and sells wooden furniture which they deliver to their customers. In this example, they are making a dining room table. Woodfern buys large pieces of wood from their supplier which will be used to make the table. The wood is stored in a warehouse in its original state and at this stage is known as raw material inventory. Woodfern also imports teak wood and is therefore required to pay import duties and other miscellaneous charges to customs in order to take full ownership of the wood. While the wood is with customs, it is known as bonded inventory. Once it is cleared, it then becomes raw material. In order to make a table, the raw materials such as the wood and glue and screws are used. These items are moved to the factory and used in the table manufacturing process therefore becoming work in progress inventory. While the wood is being transformed, factory workers will use items such as cloths and cleaning agents to clean the parts of the table. These items are known as floor stock inventory. They are used during production but do not become part of the final product. Now that the table is finished, it is moved from the factory and stored in a warehouse waiting to be sold. Items ready to sell are referred to as finished goods inventory. Woodfern offer their customers a specialized wood polish for their furniture. This polish is optional and if a customer purchases it, it will be delivered with the furniture. While Woodfern keep the polish in their stores, it is not seen as being part of their inventory and is still owned by the supplier. This means that Woodfern do not have to tie up capital or money in inventory that they potentially may not sell. In this scenario, the polish is known as consignment inventory. The table has been sold and is loaded onto a delivery truck. This inventory being delivered is known as distribution inventory or goods in transit inventory. The inventory is now on its way to the customer. Defining inventory types helps identify the state and location of inventory, and this can be used for transaction, tracking, and reporting purposes.